Hello everybody, welcome to today's devotion for November 9th. Today's devotion is titled, Jesus' Ultimate Victory. And the Bible reading is from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 15 to 22. He said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. They will be climbing up by the pass of Ziz, Ziz, <laughs> and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jeruel. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. <clears throat> Go out to face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Jehoshaphat bowed down with his face to the ground, and all of the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down in worship before the Lord. Then some Levites from the Kohathites, or Korahites, stood up and praised the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. Early in the morning they left for the desert of Tekoa. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets, and you will be successful. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out at the head of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. At some military camps across Europe during World War II, an unusual type of supply was airdropped for homesick soldiers, upright pianos. They were specifically manufactured to contain only 10% of the normal amount of metal, and they received special water-resistant glue and anti-insect treatments. The pianos were rugged and simple, but provided hours of spiritual spirit-lifting entertainment for soldiers who gathered around to sing familiar songs from home. Singing, especially songs of praise, is one way that believers in Jesus can find peace in the battle too. King Jehoshaphat found this to be true when he faced vast, vast invading armies. Terrified the, king, terrified, the king called all of the people together for prayer and fasting. In response, God told him to lead out soldiers to meet the enemy, promising that they'd not have to fight this battle. Jehoshaphat believed God and acted in faith. He appointed singers to go ahead of the soldiers and sing praise to God for the victory they believed they would see. And as their music began, he miraculously defeated their enemies and saved his people. Victory doesn't always come when and how we want it to, but we can always proclaim Jesus' ultimate victory over sin and death that's already been won for us. We can choose to rest in a spirit of worship even in the middle of a war zone. How can you praise God right where you are today? And how can you press into the victory that Jesus has won for you? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.